Hi friends, in today's video, I'm gonna make an 8 channel IR remote switch. This is a useful and interesting project. We can control 8 different devices wirelessly with an IR remote. So without further ado, let's start this video. This video is sponsored by JLC PCB, which is one of the largest PCB manufacturing company of China. First, I have created schematic diagram of the project. Then I created PCB layout and then I generated Gerber files and upload them to JLC PCB website. Then I selected all required parameters such as dimension, quantity, color and a few more options. Then I click on save to cart. This will send our project into shopping cart. Then I click on checkout securely and then I add my shipping address and select my desired shipping and payment method. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, then do subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon so you can get notifications whenever I upload a new video. These are my other channels, do subscribe them as well. And you can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram. Component list, circuit diagram, everything is in the description below. This is the block diagram of this project. Arduino is the processing unit of this project. A relay driver is used to drive the relays. Eight relays are used to control eight different devices. An IR receiver is used to receive commands from the IR remote. Let's see how this circuit works. When we press a button on an IR remote, it emits infrared light. A code is encoded in this light. This code is received and decoded by the IR receiver. Then this code is given to the Arduino. Then Arduino turn on or off the corresponding relay. So that's how this circuit works. Now let's see the connections of this circuit. These are all the components I'm gonna use for this project. First, connect Arduino. After that, connect a 2-pin terminal block and connect its 1-pin to 5-fold pin of Arduino and its other pin to ground. After that, connect an IR receiver and connect its VCC pin to 5-fold pin of Arduino, its ground pin to ground and its data pin to D2 pin of Arduino. After that, connect ULN 2803IC and connect its pin number 10 to 5 fold pin of Arduino, it's pin number 9 to ground, and it's pin number 1 to pin D3 of Arduino, it's pin number 2 to pin D4 of Arduino, it's pin number 3 to pin D5 of Arduino, it's pin number 4 to pin D6 of Arduino, it's pin number 5 to pin D7 of Arduino, it's pin number 6 to pin D8 of Arduino, it's pin number 7 to pin D9 of Arduino, it's pin number 8 to pin D10 of Arduino. After that, connect a 5 volt relay and connect its 1 coil pin to pin number 18 of the IC. After that, connect a 3 pin terminal block and connect its 1 pin to normally closed terminal of the relay and its center pin to common terminal of the relay and its other pin to normally open terminal of the relay. After that, connect an LED and connect its cathode to pin number 18 of the IC. After that, connect a 100 ohm resistor and connect its one pin to positive supply and its other pin to anode of the LED. After that, connect a 5 volt relay and connect its one coil pin to pin number 17 of the IC. After that, connect a 3 pin terminal block and connect its one pin to normally closed terminal of the relay and its center pin to common terminal of the relay and its other pin to normally open terminal of the relay. After that, connect an LED and connect its cathode to pin number 17 of the IC. After that, connect a 100 ohm resistor and connect its one pin to positive supply and its other pin to anode of the LED. After that, connect a 5 volt relay and connect its one coil pin to pin number 16 of the IC. After that, connect a 3 pin terminal block and connect its one pin to normally closed terminal of the relay and its center pin to common terminal of the relay 
and its other pin to normally open terminal of the relay. After that, connect an LED and connect its cathode to pin number 16 of the IC. After that, connect a 100 ohm resistor and connect its one pin to positive supply and its other pin to anode of the LED. After that, connect a 5 volt relay and connect its one coil pin to pin number 15 of the IC. After that, connect a 3 pin terminal block and connect its one pin to normally close terminal of the relay and its center pin to common terminal of the relay and its other pin to normally open terminal of the relay. After that, connect an LED and connect its cathode to pin number 15 of the IC. After that, connect a 100 ohm resistor and connect its one pin to positive supply and its other pin to anode of the LED. After that, connect a 5 volt relay and connect its one coil pin to pin number 14 of the IC. After that, connect a 3 pin terminal block and connect its one pin to normally close terminal of the relay and its center pin to common terminal of the relay and its other pin to normally open terminal of the relay. After that, connect an LED and connect its cathode to pin number 14 of the IC. After that, connect a 100 ohm resistor and connect its one pin to positive supply and its other pin to anode of the LED. After that, connect a 5 volt relay and connect its one coil pin to pin number 13 of the IC. After that, connect a 3 pin terminal block and connect its one pin to normally close terminal of the relay and its center pin to common terminal of the relay and its other pin to normally open terminal of the relay. After that, connect an LED and connect its cathode to pin number 13 of the IC. After that, connect a 100 ohm resistor and connect its one pin to positive supply and its other pin to anode of the LED. After that, connect a 5 volt relay and connect its one coil pin to pin number 12 of the IC. After that, connect a 3 pin terminal block and connect its one pin to normally close terminal of the relay and its center pin to common terminal of the relay and its other pin to normally open terminal of the relay. After that, connect an LED and connect its cathode to pin number 12 of the IC. After that, connect a 100 ohm resistor and connect its one pin to positive supply and its other pin to anode of the LED. After that, connect a 5 volt relay and connect its one coil pin to pin number 11 of the IC. After that, connect a 3 pin terminal block and connect its one pin to normally close terminal of the relay and its center pin to common terminal of the relay and its other pin to normally open terminal of the relay. After that, connect an LED and connect its cathode to pin number 11 of the IC. After that, connect a 100 ohm resistor and connect its one pin to positive supply and its other pin to anode of the LED. So we have completed all the connections. Now let's upload the code to Arduino and test the project. First, upload the code to Arduino. Now open the serial monitor and press the require buttons one by one. The codes of these buttons will show on the serial monitor. Now copy these codes and paste them here. Now re-upload the code to Arduino. Now let's test the project.
so that's it for today's video i hope you have enjoyed this video for more videos like that stay tuned and i will see you in the next video